Six. Okay, I guess we're starting on three. Oh, I just started at six. <laughs> uh, anyway, so... <laughs> Hello, guys, I'm Kayla. Jude here. Thank you. And we're talking about Kingdom Hearts 4 and how it's going to take ten years. Oh, oh god. my god, no, 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 don't, don't you don't dare. Okay. Let's just get to the main point here. Okay, let's talk about Kingdom Hearts 4 and how everybody is jumping the gun saying there's going to be storms in this game. I swear, okay, if the Mandalorian comes out with Grogu, then I won't believe Star Wars is in Kingdom Hearts yet, okay? That place for Darth Vader. It's a freaking forest, for God's sakes! Quit speculating, just wait until the results come up! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You speculate all the time. Stop bring me into it! Well, you don't speculate as much as, like, Age of Game. But, anyway, uh, <coughs> I was gonna say, um, it looks like it's gonna use pretty similar... Similar um, movement mechanics as in Kingdom Hearts, where you can interact much more interactively with the surrounding with the surrounding objects than in any of the old ones. Especially with the environment being a lot. Sora's new mechanics were were kind of like the Keyblade transformation for the most part, but they're more exclusive to the Keyblade now. So now. The keyboard has like a grappling hook like Joker does for the Persona 5 now. It has the drill thing from like the Toy Story keyboard where you do this. I think he's I think he's just unleashing just getting unleashing his power. But everything else is getting stronger as he is, so it's not like the challenge he faces are getting easier. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Um, there is a thing from Kimitsu that states is going to be a future where we can be and stuff. So maybe the Keyblade does have a way to be done. Some sort of section of the world. Or unknown worlds that we don't even know about, or something that we were hoping that might get a chance in the game. Maybe it ties into like the little bridge between worlds to get to the back of the world, I guess. Maybe. Possibly, but we'll see when we know it. My question is who's the Who's the new love interest? Oh, 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 oh okay. We that can girl, that. that girl. We, we'll explain that to you. Um, All right. Go ahead and explain. Fine, fine. Her name is Stralesia. She appeared in the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross game, and she's also the sister of Omar. Um, basically, Marluxia's Oh. Yes, that's exactly so, the idea. in that game, um, Stralesia gets pretty much stabbed. She dies. Yeah, she, she dies she, in the game. She was supposed to be like the... One of the dandelions? Yeah, the whole that are going to go into the other room and continue. But she got stabbed by Darkness, who possessed Ventus, so... Literally, so, basically, Benita's from the past pretty much stabbed stab her. Yes, she stabbed her. Stabbed, stabbed. stabbed her. And now escaped with Ventus into the, uh, into, like, a kind of time universe. Ah. So, yeah. And now, and now, and now she's, she's dead. Sword, and now she's also Sora's mom. Love, new love interest. No, um, we don't know her for certain. That, yet, I really would have words to say because she's okay. doing some special training. Okay, we may. Okay, people, we have speculated a lot of things about Tracy <laughs> and Sora and all that stuff, but we don't know that for certain I yet. I hope you know of this joke. No, we're, yes, we're not we know being that. serious, dude. Yeah, we are. You know what? It, we gotta be serious here. I'm gonna stop right with the end of all y'all It's like $800 worth? Pretty much more expensive than we think. Well, I'll, I'll look it up. Let's keep speculating here. So, what else do you think, feature wise? Um, do you think Star Wars is going to be in this game? Like, what people are, like screaming at them? Uh, um, for that, I'd say only a 25% chance of it happening. I think it might be 30, though, but it's, it's not like it's going to happen immediately. I am going with you, you can't have a 25%, because honestly, it could just be a normal Because if you think of it, um, Disney got um, Star Wars before Kingdom Hearts 3 was being properly developed. That's true. And it's more of an iconic world than, say, the Tangled. Like, Tangled is cool and all, but Star Wars is more iconic. You would think they would put the more iconic one in a little bit earlier. Yeah, but then again, it was in the public way, way back when they made the deal. Precisely. Yeah, but it was still being developed even after they acquired Star Wars. It does take time for that. Because they acquired Star Wars like four or five years ago? Yeah, like Maybe around six. I think around like 2014. Yeah. And so 
so it had they had a long time where they could have strapped or pushed um back tangled or toy story even one of those two because toy story i would have said would have been a better fit for this one of course because we're going from like different worlds and like meeting up with them yeah and with this one also you start off in a city that's true so that is in in a lot of cities toy stories are contained yes toy stories are contained they were, they were talking like toy story 2 right like we can see yeah. it from town to town yeah so i you would have so looking at it i feel like it would have made sense for star wars to have been in that in kingdom Hearts 3 and toy story in this one yeah but here's a main question i have to you what what which plot of new for the Mandalorians, and are we going for the Luke Wars story? I'd say we should probably go with Luke. Yes, yes. it's a lot more involved. Uh, yes. yes, that would make perfect sense. No, no offense to the Force Awakens or anything, it doesn't really get along as much as you think it does. No, it doesn't. It, when it, you don't really start getting your your heartstrings aren't pulled at until the, the only way to pull your heartstrings is when they, they take the classic characters. Or and when realize that Vader is Anakin who happens to be Luke and Leia's father and then which if you also tie parallels to him and Rico in the Wars right? Yeah, that would be a perfect saying to start. Not like father and son, more like friends eventually to the end. Yeah. Like to be Oh that would be um that would be an- the Anakin and Obi Wan. Obi Wan Kenobi, that's Star Wars episode three. What if it ties like to like the Obi Wan series? And, eh, that's that could be a possibility. But then again, there's no force. No, no, no. Everything's a Tatooine. Because yeah. if you think about it, there is a large force in um, um in Endor. Yeah, yeah. You know, that, like, little things, right? Those machines. Right? No, not not the machines. No, the, uh, the little right, right, those guys. Those guys. Right? Of no, no, not the Jawas. The Ewoks. Yes. The Jawas are the little... They are the little things that go like... Ah! No, that is the Tusken Raiders. Okay. The Jawas are the ones that support the Tusken Raiders. Ah. They're the little engineer... Oh, okay, so the guy with the little minis. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We got that. Okay, so what other worlds do we think relates to the setting of the Beavers If I were to pick, I would choose... Is there to include the world that we have Saying we brought up yet. Yeah, that's the point, yeah. Alright, then how about the word of Coco? The land of Coco. Actually, that's a perfect idea. That would be. Because the land of them. And maybe, um, oh, maybe that would be hitting what Hades would say about there's another Coco. Yeah, 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 also, that'd be great. Um, I think Hollow Bastion would be a good return because Hollow Bastion is kind of where souls kind of go once they're done. Oh, yes, yeah, soul Ooh, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, too. yeah that's, that's great. But also, like, Hollow Bastion. That's where a lot of the spent act, the like in game souls kind of end up toward the end That's true. of their uh-huh. lives. Um, but instead of having like a dark one and a light one, this one's kind of purgatory where everything is just kind of blank. You're working towards trying to figure out why it's like this, and that you're not necessarily out to fix it, but to answer questions. Um, it's funny you say that because. According to what the horse said, it's this whole world of the problem is supposed to be like big open worlds type stuff. Like I'm saying it's probably gonna be like Final Fantasy 15 levels of how big the areas are. The sky levels. Yeah, kinda oh, like that. Yeah, kinda nice. like it's how big you would destroy. I think that will also go with the rebuilding the worlds as well. So if you complete a certain section, maybe be like a boss or something, you can rebuild out one area and explore that area as well. But I definitely think Hollow Bash definitely going to be part of this because of all of the aspects it has in reference to the after life of some of the souls that live on in the Kingdom Hearts world. Yeah, so the data is still there too. Yeah. Still there. Yeah. Maybe that's where um, maybe it's also a place where the um, data that's been lost but not Corrupted, like lost data but not corrupted data, are in that purgatory zone. 
That could be a possibility indeed. There's also a... Uh, I'm trying to think here, since at least both of you are a little longer than this year, I think we might get even less worlds than we got in the That's the case. Less worlds, yes, but more keyblades, probably. More keyblades and more areas to explore. That's perfect. Because you, it could be more regions, but not full worlds. Oh. Yeah, there might be like that, but... Like, think of all the um, sub-areas in Mario Odyssey. This city connects to all of those. Oh, okay. okay. That does so, seem to be. So, it's, a, so it's like every bridge goes to And that's how you travel. So, if you don't have the gummy ship, you know. Yeah. And something like that. You know, now that you mention it, that's true. That sure makes sense. And besides, Sora's is practically a quadratic, and it's not at his world. Yeah, and there's no, like, gummy ships in that world, and all the little spaceships in the other world. Yeah, Try going to America to the NASA spaceships. And the keyblade <laughs> still works there, so obviously there is gonna be keyholes, so maybe instead of standard doorways or of the bridge, you'll find keyhole doors that you'll go through to, go, to and, get to the new area. And then, like, you go, the point of the door says, this is gonna be a hub world. Or so, yeah, so something like that could work where um, you don't have to go super far to get to each, like, doorway, but each doorway leads to its own sub-area. Yeah, this is, this is what I was thinking about before, is that the whole game is still going to be based in a draw, or mostly, like, 50 to 60% of the game, the rest of the game will still be going to different worlds, but the main hub, and where you're going to be probably going there for end game, is going to probably be in the top area. Yeah, I just noticed something. What? I'm going to be mad if none of this was heard. Don't worry. Is this recorded? <laughs> well, it's a Scarlet Tongue. Yeah. The only reason I say that is because I don't see any waves on the voice. Is it supposed to be doing that? Well, I heard it. I checked. It should be fine. Okay. Okay, let's continue now. I'm <laughs> not worrying about this thing, so okay. I mean, it's... Uh, I know it was an awkward pause for you people watching this, but we, this is like good stuff. Technical concerns. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, almost thought it was a technical disruption. Oh, yeah, GG, you get technical terms. <laughs> disruptions to my deep discussion. Back to the main yeah. discussion here for Kingdom Hearts 4, please. Okay, back to Kingdom Hearts 4. I don't think it's going to be that heavily focused on the ground world. Yeah. No, because it, the hub world isn't a world. A hub world, you, you have the beginning portion, but I'd say only like maybe 15% of the movies are there. Okay. Because. Mm -hmm. The hub world is main, just mainly for you to travel between worlds. And so you would have that first big boss fight, maybe a second one in the middle, towards the middle of the game. But that would probably realistically be it for that section because you're using it mainly as a means to travel from world to world. Like with the gummy ship, that was your hub to get everywhere. That wasn't, it wasn't a world you were on, but it was your hub to get access to everywhere. It's how you want to work. Because all of your saves gave you all the save portions, most of them anyway, gave you access to the gummy ship, which then gave you access to the other worlds. Um, yeah. Here's the thing. Um, I know the whole thing for this is going to be So, this is just me speculating here. It, like, if, like, the Zora's not what he looks like there. Does he look like okay? Sora goes into like the Zoro's. Okay. Because after the fight, whatever, he's still there. Zora, like according to the bridge thing that we see, like this giant open sky, night sky, and everything, it's just an endless hallway. Like Zora's probably in the Kingdom Hearts universe. That's probably. my my yeah. guess right here. That's probably who Donald would be my find by accident oh. at the very end of the game. So, like, Big twist turn. Like, oh, Namora, do a big twist turn. Because Zora's right at the very end of the game. That's who we're going to be playing as for the next game. Because he did say that he wanted this to be a Sora game, but he couldn't really figure a name to call this game, so he just called it Game Wars. That's a possibility. So that's what he said. Yeah, he did say that. Or, remember, it, or if you think about it, it could be Hades, too, because of all the. That is true. That's, it, yeah, it, yeah. It, I think that's his Japanese VA, too. Because yeah. if you think about it, Hades lights 
can switch colors. And it has that same little effect that they added in Kingdom Hearts 3. It like, has that little yeah. 2D plane effect. Yeah, change from blue to red. That's the color that he's using. Not for. just that, like, if you look closely at, like, Hades' hair and, like, some of the Kingdom Hearts kind of, like, they, had, they added, like, these little designs, like, they did in the release, where they had yeah. little swirls and stuff like that. That, to make it emphasize that this is you know, what's called Sea of So, maybe Hades is just like, hey, who you looking for? Someone who's passed on? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> that's <laughs> definitely And it's like, oh no! Oh, it's like, oh, he, like, he, he's he, probably he, just chastised him a bit. It's like, oh, you little <laughs> spread his head, what's wrong? Being just, just a duo, not a trio, whatever. Uh-huh. Oh, that's 80s for you. But then again, you probably just like, you know, maybe I could actually use it. Yeah. Not, like, okay, I'll I'll help find a little buddy. But like, you give me something in return. Yeah. Because he, he's an opportunist. He, yes. He's a villain, but he's also, if he sees a way to benefit himself, even, even while working with the enemy, working with the enemy he will. You know, like, he played Cloud like a little bit in Kingdom Hearts 1. Not to mention more in Kingdom Hearts 2. Well, more in this yeah, no, I ain't playing this. Yeah, and in Kingdom Hearts 3, well... No, you didn't trick him. But there's Kingdom Hearts 4 by Sleep, dude. Oh, Terra. that was Terra. <laughs> That's not too Terra is Terra is the easiest person in the world. Yeah, no, in the 80s. <laughs> but he's, but Terra isn't the easiest person in the world to fight. Oh, oh shut let's up! Let's not get to this array. They can see it on the playroom. Watch the final episode of Burn by Sleep and see what I'm talking in the description, how much pain is up? Just into the description, we'll show it to you, okay? Pain and suffering. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, anyhow, this is what I thought too. Remember back in Kingdom Hearts 3 that after we finished the Elimus Coliseum, there's Pandora's box? That's true, but that didn't really go anywhere. No, but what if he takes advantage of that? Well, why would they need it though? Because, remember, like, um. Because, like, the am seeing people down and they just, like, toss it aside and that was in the box they need. Oh, yeah, but Hades, was Hades it, it, it could easily be used by Hades for something else. So they would have to go. Because if you think of the saying, never open Pandora's box because you never know what you'll never know what to expect from you. It, it's just chaos. Oh my god! My mission is to kill chaos. That's all I know. When are we gonna fight chaos? All I care about is seeing chaos dead. Looks like Chaos has been waiting for us. Chaos. We're here to kill Chaos. What about Chaos? That Chaos doesn't exist? The Chaos Shrine. Just one. Is it true you made a deal with Chaos? Chaos exists. I knew it. I told you. And where there's a crystal, there's Chaos. Come on. Are you Chaos? You told us he made a deal with Chaos. And where? Where did this desperate urge to eradicate chaos come from? I was right! <laughs> no, that, that that's not what you're thinking, Justin. You know, chaos oh. from Final Fantasy. Okay, right? okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> oh my god. Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, Holy. if that's a thing, oh, oh why my not? If we're going oh. all in for realistic Final Fantasy action. Get him, this dude. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Yes. Oh, oh, but, oh, oh, oh. In other words, but even if it's not him, <laughs> Pandora's box is exactly that. It's something old. It's a chaotic thing because you know what? No one knows what's going to happen when you open it. It is an enigma. It's something unknown. Yeah. It's something that you cannot. That's true. So it's like, it could be something amazing. It could be something disastrous. Okay, dear, that's what you're saying. Okay, that's actually very good. Because in Kingdom Hearts Three, he said he was frugal with the Kingdom Hearts. Like, yeah, too much trouble. Whatever people die doing it, whatever, who cares? I'm gonna build my own plan. So we might get a Olympus Coliseum again for the Kingdom Hearts Five. Four. You mean five? Five. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Five. So that's what I'm looking for. So, um. In terms of like ever wants to really be used in terms of like live action, I don't want the to, to, to character. Yeah. Yes, I don't want them to use like live action Disney movies. 
going over to the care no. menu. No, not those. I mean like the what the remakes. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. Those ones I don't. Those, those ones I don't. Really yeah, no. no, I don't. Rivia, yeah, that sounds like an interesting one. If they could get the rights for this. Yo, that that would be cool because um, if you ba- it's on Disney Plus, so. Okay, so they might still have the rights. So, but like with Rich to Derivithia, um, you could theoretically answer questions like you did in the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 1, and you make your own keyblade. Uh, oh my god. That actually is a thing I think you have with custom Yeah. Because they used to do it back in like uh, 2.8, and they did a little bit of it in a nice, like, to some extent, like with the arm. Possibly, indeed. If you can't get a... Oh, if you can customize your grip and just lift whatever you want, you can send it to this post. Like, you get sort of back the stupid, um, nose and mustache. Yes! <laughs> um, Turn it Mario. Yeah, back when you were, like, in Dream Drop, this is the one that I'm like, heck, I don't know. Oh, no. But, uh, that'd be great, that'd be great. But the reason why I mentioned the question is because in Rich to Dare with you, everything there is limited only to your imagination. So, so answering questions like you did in the first one, or you could also do a quiz like in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. You make your own Keyblade and what powers it has, what shapes it takes. Basically the imagination thing. Yes. Okay, that would be cool. Because that that would be the most customized thing it, they've ever done. Because it you might not be trying to make it that way yourself, but it is geared towards you. Oh yeah, like if you do missions with the kids to get some to buy out some large different keyblades to get the special packs. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> and as I said with the questions, you you can it starts out a certain way based off of how you answer the questions. But as you do different missions or do different fights, you get different things that to up to change it. But depending on the, if you take good or neutral actions, it locks out the opposite. Uh, so you're forced. It's you're forced to choose how you want to do it. And it gets different for every play. That's yeah. a, that's a lot of fun because I missed that whole set thing they did like Kingdom Hearts One. Like every choice made does have a different outcome. Yeah. Yeah. Remembering that sure does bring back memories. Yeah, I'm gonna say do that again. Honestly, why are we not working for Square Enix? Good question. Because we don't know how to do all the code that we want to do. And also, there's basic codes that we, we could probably do in easy player, but you know, not the idea. Of nope, and we're not exactly. We don't speak Japanese, so I guess the language barrier. I don't. Too I don't hard. anymore. I used to. Uh, what else do we need to talk about? I think you pretty much did everything. Except for the the new demonic dark oh, side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that new boss version seems completely different so from the first. So, I'm guessing, like, depending on what worlds they go to, the Marcos do change. Actually, that actually is true. They do change the worlds. Because if you go to Halloween Town, some of the Heartless have these little sketch marks like they would do in Halloween Town. So, they didn't like the uh, Space Paradox and like, uh, cybernetic stuff. Yeah. So I'm guessing they, they're taking forms of what they would look like in Final Fantasy. I think that I think this dark side is actually going to be more based off of... So it's a city. Like a heavily... Pop, sorry. Heavily populated city. Think of all the gas that comes from the dark. All the... All the pollution. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it actually goes oh. back to environmentalism from Final Fantasy VII. That would work. I think this would be based. This, I think he could be based off of all the different gas that polluted the air in the city. And also the negativity. So because it's being a city, oh jeez. Yeah. There's always going to be something. Yeah. Yeah. There's gonna be some changes in the game. So maybe every heartless from different worlds that we go to have a bigger effect on like the whole environment and city as a whole. Or take as they take the negativity from that exact. Yeah, and they take, they gain new form, a new form because of 
all the because of negativity and pollution from a heavily densely populated area, such as the cities. That's what they're like, and they all take different forms, like all these different varieties within here. And in this picture, well, they have to play by this one rule. They would have to do that to come to this one. Yes, they would. So, yeah, they'll, they'll be like maybe a different form of heartless, and like, like a neo heartless, or just like a. Or a different version of heartless. That would definitely fit in the game. So that would explain why they always have these new movies. Maybe this dark side probably has like a new set of oil sets than the original movies. Oh yeah, no, it definitely has it has to because of the way it was affecting the cars. The cars, because sure it made things float before. But this but this time it has like it didn't grab it with its hand. It grabbed it grabbed the one card with some kind of tentacle. Like using that as a boss is pretty much doing all that. Yeah, so it did just like I would like to see more of these these bosses and heartless take use of the environment where we have to fight with the environment as well. So maybe like when you go to Bridge of Terrapidia you have to fight a heartless that's affecting the entire world and you're looking at trying to like Everything. That, that's something that I'm pretty sure is something similar happened in Bridge to Terra with you. I, I haven't uh, seen a movie in a while. I don't remember. I haven't seen a movie for quite some time. Because, um, if you think about it, um, in the early stages of, in, in the be- near the beginning of the movie, they turned um, acorns into grenades. Or was it pine cones? I think it was pine cones. Pine cones into grenades. So they could be jumping from tree to tree, knocking down pine cones that are actually bombs Ooh. that you'd have to dodge. Oh, yeah. It would be like um, the, uh, the tangled boss, but much more effective. Yes, I'm wrong. Yeah. So that would be really cool. Any other Disney worlds you think of? I'm hoping for a treasure planet. Yeah, we haven't had one of those yet. No, yeah. we didn't. No, we're not going to have one either. We, we definitely would. I would have liked to. Maybe. Maybe there'll be a labor sword action in one of them. That's one of the spaceships. Yeah. Yeah. There's also the city of Atlantis. Yeah, that's it. The Lost Empire. The Lost Empire. Like, I'm trying to think. Mine with that would definitely be Actually, it. yeah, that would be a good, <laughs> good idea, because it would be exploring the way how so we can get back to that world. Yeah, it can work. Yeah, so, there's a lot of good ideas. That still will include Disney, so everybody who's thinking that Disney is not going to be part of... El Dorado. Or Del Dorado. No, yeah, that's Dream Street works. Sadly. Sadly. Um, yeah, sadly. So that's, I mean... I mean, it's, I can understand why you would think that. Oh, uh, I, I know it's Dream Works, but like... DreamWorks and Disney do work kind of. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, here and there. Copyright and stuff. Like that. But yeah. Disney can get rights to pretty much anything. That, that's true, but I don't think they're going to dig out of pocket for Elder Rock. Not just. Unless DreamWorks are just. Like, if they do, then heck. If it were to happen. Like, it's not, it's not impossible because, yeah, it's a good point. That's true, they did get Star Wars and other stuff. They got Star Wars. Well, mostly Marvel's about Yeah. I could see them popping into the MCU, too. Um, do you think that's going on with now with Doctor Strange? If the movie comes out before the news. The um, movie's already all out. Oh, yeah. But still, they're happily in the film, they did the same thing with, um, uh, when Star Wars came out. That was already happily in the film, too. Yes, it was. But I believe we got everything, or we're still on the I think we've I think we're pretty much good here. So, yeah, basically, it looks really good. It's been much more of a down. Hopefully, it doesn't take another 10 years to come out. And the more doesn't switch it on us again. Because Real Engine 5 just came out. And there's, uh, right. and there's still in development for that. Wait, is um, Unreal Engine 5 in development? Because I know it came out, and I know they're probably going to use it. So far, I remember it came Yes, but now Andrew, Unreal Engine 5 is like, and then the Marvel's like, oh, I want to try that shiny new 
new stuff to that they're making. And then it takes another five extra years just to get the first ten years of Engine 5. Can we stay that for Kingdom Hearts 5, please, Skabora? Don't jump the gun again. I can't take another ten years. Sell down, sell down. Anyway, yeah, that's our thoughts on the I'm going to make another video, but it's not with our show. Until then, I um, hope you guys let us move around the speculate and stuff. Hey, and Amora, or any of your guys who are watching this video, um, we are available to hire you in the next few months. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this has been Jude here. Hello. I'm Kata. I'm here. Alright, see you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.